Hey everyone, welcome back for another video on the traction loss. I know I've been gone for a while, but like I said, guys, I'm, I've been really, really busy. There's some big projects that I'm working on, you know, on my, you know, related to my job. So hopefully soon when everything is, you know, gets launched and released, we can talk about it. But for now, I'm sorry again, and let's get back into uh, building the traction loss. And for this video, we're going to be talking about building the bottom piece of the uh, of the traction loss like i mentioned in an earlier video that the traction loss is two pieces um there's two profiles the uh, there's um there's the bottom one and there's the one that sits on top of it uh, there's another video that i already published that goes over the um the top one and for this video we're going to be talking about the bottom one um so it's it's pretty straightforward uh, i'm going to go over uh what i built and uh, some feedback uh to you if you don't if you are building this so right what you see here uh you have this long this is the rear right here this is the back of the traction loss uh this is the rear end of the uh of the traction loss and this this piece right here the measurement of it is 51 uh, inches and you can either go with 40 by 160 one big piece just as that is 40 by 160 in my case i went with two 40 by 80s uh so these are actually two 40 by 80s and really you don't need to do much here you can just put them next to each other and you see these big plates right here um they will do all the work for you so these two black plates right here they will do all the work for you for holding these two 40 by 80 pieces together um or like i said you can just go with one big 41 uh, by 160 and you know you'll be fine as well uh but yeah if you go with the 240 by 80s you just put them next to each other and you put these white plates on 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 top and just it'll connect everything for you and if you see these big the 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 plates the metal plates they go all the way to the edge so there's no gap or you know there's no distance or any gap from the end of the profile you just Put them on there put the um the rolling nuts or whatever kind of nuts or connectors that you have put in the screws and you are good to go with that piece so now uh once you've taken care of that part you have these two um vertical uh pieces right here and these two vertical pieces as you can tell uh, they are uh, 40 by 120 at least you know that's what i did they're 40 by 120 and the length is of each is 36 inches um and all you do is just connect them perpendicular to the um to the to this piece right here and the distance between this end and this end right here this one right here is about 10 inches from each end so this is where i put them from here to here you have 10 inches in here and just yeah you just connect it uh, with the brackets, with the corner brackets, and again the screws and the water, then the the rolling nuts, and you should be good to go um, uh, with that piece. Now, uh, moving on to these uh, internal pieces right here. So let's just clear the screen real quick. Have it nice. Okay. So let's move on to these pieces right here. Again, these, if you see here in my in my setup, these are two pieces that are 40 by 80 uh, side by side same th same thing at the bottom right here there are 40 by 80 side by side and like I mentioned you can do uh, 140 by 160 if you have them um, and the reason why I went 40 by 80 because when I ordered these pieces from um, framing technology they did not have a 40 by 160 uh, so I decided to go <clears throat> with 40 by 80s and just put them like that side by side it'll work exactly the same it doesn't make a difference so if you have 40 by 160 is available do it if you don't just go with 40 by 80 uh 240 by 80 pieces and um if you take a look at this this was what I, why initial why when i initially built it but i modified it a bit so right now um right here oh sorry uh right here um the gap was more when i when, when i first built it I think I put them around 10 inches was the distance from the back to this. But after I tweaking and playing around with it, I actually reduced the distance from he from um, from uh, here to here. This distance is now about five inches. 
between this and this. And the same thing at the bottom. Uh, if you see here, it was really close to this. So I actually pu pushed that in a bit and made the distance between here and here about four inches. Um, so that that was the best setup for me. And actually, it made the traction, it made me feel the traction uh, more than the gap that I, I had initially. So five from, from five. Uh, from here to here, as I mentioned, and four from the front of it to the um, to that uh, to the other piece. So these are the measurements uh, for that. Just connect it uh, based on what I showed you here, and put in the plates. Um, that the um, this these are the plates right here, where the um, where the rollers are gonna slide on. And in my case, the distance from here to the front of the uh, metal plate is about three inches on both ends. So from here to here is three inches. And then um, you, you can connect this little, you know, the metal piece, and that has to be on, on the on the front, of course. Like I said, this, this right, right here is the back, the rear of the traction loss, and this one is right in the front. So this will connect on the front, on the front uh, piece and, you know, right in the middle. And um, and this is where the top traction loss will just slide in there and, and, and fit in uh, nicely. And that, that's basically it uh, for the bottom traction loss. And um, yeah, and let's move on to actually um, connecting the actuator and putting the actuator on the bottom traction loss. Okay, guys, here we go again. So now you just need to put the connect to put the actuator on the bottom traction loss. And if you see here, it's, it's very straightforward. You just lay it down and um, connect and connect it using the, uh, the brackets, the corner brackets. And again, it's, you can put as many as you want. Um, in my case, I just had one, one connector on each side and it's, it's perfectly fine. But if you, again, if you, if, like I mentioned, this one is the, the, the image right here that you see is based on what I had initially. But after I connected everything, I had to tweak this a bit. So instead of the actuator, as you see it here, <clears throat> sitting in its current position, I actually moved the actuator and the head of the actuator, this one, is actually coming out from this side at about three inches. So it's no longer on the inside like that. In my case, it's on the outside about three inches. So think about it. Imagine there's no actuator. Think about it like this. So this is where the head of the, the circle of the actuator will start. And then it's connected like this. And of course you have the bar, blah, blah, blah. And these two little pieces right here. So sorry about the drawing, but mm -hmm. <laughs> again, uh, this is how the actuator is today with three inches um, outside. And yeah, connected. And uh, this is how you put the actuator on the bottom traction loss. Okay. Now we just brought in the top uh, traction loss platform and we put it on the uh, bottom one. It sticks perfectly fine. Uh, like I said, with this connector in the middle right here. Um, and the last thing that you need to do is connect these pieces from the actuator uh, that you just put in on the bottom traction loss platform, connect it to the top uh, traction loss platform. And it's pretty straightforward. These, these pieces right here, these two pieces right here, they will just connect directly onto um, these bars or these aluminum profiles on the top traction loss platform. Uh, and it just sits perpendicular to it. And uh, yeah, and you can add just add one connector on each end, one connector on this side, one connector on this side, side and just directly connect it here, uh, both this end and that end, and you should be good to go. Here's a better picture and a close up. Um, you can see here um, how it how the um, bottom traction loss actually connects to the top traction loss. And take a quick look right here how it is connected with the two brackets on each side, on each side, one side here and one side there. That's how it connects, and that's how it should look like once everything is is connected and um, put on top of each other. And you can see as well, uh, the actuator is actually coming out a bit, like I said, three inches from the side. 
um, instead of being tucked in like a, like it showed in the previous video or pre uh, previous image.